there's so much I love in the story of Gideon. God comes to an obviously weak guy and says to him, go in this strength of yours, have I not sent you? Then you get Gideon's kind of frail response saying, who am I? And of course the point isn't who he is, but the point is who is sending him. It's God calling and sending him that makes him a very different kind of person. You find similar in the story of Moses when Moses was a young prince and we're told he was mighty in word and deed. He was a powerful young guy, used to doing things. Uh, we're told in, uh, the, in, in the history book of, by Josephus that Moses had led uh, an army of Egypt against the Ethiopians at Memphis and won a great victory. So he's a powerful guy and, and he's in the palace and he, and he sees a, a, a Hebrew slave being really mistreated by an Egyptian. He goes out and kills the Egyptian. And then the next day he goes out seeing two Israelis fighting one another and he bangs their heads together and says, hey, come on, you're brothers. And they turn on him. Who made you a ruler over us? And it says he, he kind of looked this way and that and he ran for it. Because to be honest, though he was motivated, though he was powerful, he was not a sent man. Now God is saying to Gideon, have I not sent you? And he's weak, but Moses is strong. He's an action man, he's powerful, resourceful, but he's not sent. So when he hits a problem, all he can do is run away. Later on, God finds Moses after he's been 40 years in the wilderness looking after a few sheep. And he says this, I have heard the cry of my people. I've seen their affliction. I have come down to deliver them. I send you. And Moses says, who am I? God says, effectively, it doesn't matter who you are. It's the fact that I'm sending you that makes all the difference. It's the God who's behind us, who makes us strong. God can choose the weak because all of his strength is perfected in our weakness. So wherever it is that God has sent you, see, if you're a believer and you've asked God to guide you, you know, you've now become a teacher somewhere or a nurse or, you know, an insurance salesman, wherever we are in life, if we really feel, hey, I've gone this through this to do this, I feel it's God's will then we must see ourselves as being there as one of God's sent people. I'm here by God's appointment. And God has said, I am with you. So we must no longer see ourselves, as Gideon had done, as a weak man, but as a sent man and an accompanied man. God is with us. God sends us. Jesus said this, as the Father sent me, so I send you. We believers are sent people accompanied by God's resources. Let's believe it. Let's walk in the good of it. God bless you through another day as you walk with God.